Hello people, how are you doing? Hope you're well. My topic for today is the Great Commission. Stay tuned. guys how are you doing hope you're well my topic for today is the great commission i'll read for you a few verses of the great commission and i will define for you what the great commission is and how we can go and make disciples and it goes like this and the verses for one of the verses that i have is matthew chapter 28 verse 18 to 20 Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20. Oh yeah, and it goes like this. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. The second verse is Mark chapter 16, verse 15 to 18. Mark 16, verse 15 to 18. And it goes like this. He said to them, go into the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes with their hands, and when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people and they will get well. Those are from, the, these verses are from the NIV version and I will take you through the definition of the Great Commission. And it goes like this. The Great Commission is the foundation for evangelism and cross-cultural uh, missions work in Christian theology. Uh, this this one uh, it calls uh, Christ's disciples to carry out the work God started by sending his son into the world to die for lost sinners so this work is not it's not new it is very ancient uh, it started when after Jesus commanded his disciples to go into the world to make disciples after he has resurrected from the dead and he, has, he was about to go to heaven. So he gave them this task of the Great Commission. And it is still there till today. Yeah. And I'll take you through the ways in which you can go and make disciples. Number one is after salvation, our lives belong to Jesus Christ, who died on the cross to purchase our freedom from sin and death. So. Once we, we, uh, we have been saved from sin, we received salvation, uh, Jesus Christ owns our lives and that if Jesus freed us from, from sin by dying on the cross for us, so Jesus paid the penalty for our sins on the cross, yes. Number two is fulfillment of the Great Commission happens when believers witness or share their testimony. Preaching uh, the gospel, baptizing new converts, new converts and teaching God's word. So this this one takes place when when we share uh, our, our, our personal testimonies, we are evangelizing to people. We are telling God what God has done in our lives 
and how God has opened our, our spiritual eyes, how God has healed us from sicknesses, how God has delivered us from demonic oppression. So when we tell people our, our personal testimonies, we are evangelizing to them. Yeah. Preaching the gospel is also important. Uh, you don't need to be a preacher to preach the gospel. You can just preach the gospel to 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 your friends or even to your family members or even to uh, a stranger if they don't know Christ as their personal savior. Yeah. Uh, also, can also teach God's word to in a small way. You don't need to be a pastor. Just teach God's word, uh, maybe to a few people that you know. Then that means that you will be able to fulfill the great commission that Jesus has has, has commanded each one of us. And number three is that the Holy Spirit is the one who empowers believers to carry out the great commission, and is the one who uh, convicts people of their need for a savior. So. The Holy Spirit helps us do the Great Commission, as is the one that that reminds us of God's word to us. He reminds us what what God's word entails, and He's the one that gives us the power to evangelize to people across the country and across the world. Yeah, hope you've learned something about the Great Commission. If you've learned something from this video, you can comment down below and bye.